What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Lyndon Britt from SuccessWithLyndon.com. Y'all like, man, I know I'm, man, this dude here is just, I'm tired of seeing this guy. Guess what? I got some more value for you. I got some more value for you. Get Check this out. Four things that could actually help you get better results with your video marketing. Four call to actions, okay? Four call to actions. Now, define call to actions, okay? A lot of people are talking about your call to action is where you direct them to your link or, uh, for your product or your service or something like that. Uh, let me say that's about 2% of the call to actions that you need to be worried about. Now, a lot of people say, well, how can I get them looking at my business opportunity of my call to action in there for them to check out my business or whatever? Let me tell you, I'm going to give you some, I'm going to give you four tips. This call to action. Understand this one thing, a call to, and yeah, I'm holding my phone. So that's why it's moving around. A call to action is not necessarily for me to tell you to go check out my business opportunity or service. A call to action is giving someone a specific action in which you want them to take. So I'm going to share with you four things that you can do. That, uh, four call to actions you could do to get better results in your video marketing. All right. And I'm going to tell you why, why you should actually use these things at the same time. Number one, a lot of people, when you're doing a video, what's the one thing a lot of people want? You want engagement, right? All right. So call to actions have to do with the engagement that you tell people to do. People typically don't take and typically don't take an action unless you tell them what to do. If you put something before someone, I'm the type of person that you got to tell me. So my wife always says stuff and she'll look at me for an answer or a response. I'd be like, what? You didn't ask me a question. What am I answering? You made a statement. Well, I was looking for you to say something. Well, you didn't ask me. You just you just said something. I just said, okay, you made a statement. I always say that. And I don't do it to be funny. It's just typically how I think. So you don't ask me a question, I'm not answering. So the same thing applies in your marketing. If you're not specifically telling somebody to do something, it's like you're just talking to yourself. So the call to action is very important. So number one way to be able to get more engagement. Number one, Ask people to give you a thumbs up if they like or agree with something. That's a call to action. Why? Because you're specifically telling someone an action to take and actually interact with you on a web, uh, on your on your live. If you've got a video or something like that. So if I say, if you agree with what I'm saying, one of the actions I'm saying, give me a thumbs up if you agree. Give me a thumbs up. So this increases the engagement on your Facebook live. If people are actually agreeing with what you're saying, they will give you thumbs up. If they like what you're saying, give me a thumbs up. That would give you more engagement. Second call to action. A lot of people, what do you want to do? You want to get more comments on the feeds, on the, on the live feeds and stuff that you do. Why do you want to get more comments? Simply because Facebook recognizes the more comments that you get, the more interaction that you seem to be having on a specific post, Facebook will begin to show this to more and more of the friends that you have or that you are connected with. So, hey, there we go. We are back. So let me say this. If you are considering, if you are considering, uh, um, uh, the, what was I saying? Uh, you, you got your, yeah, if you're considering getting more comments, once again, the reason why you want more comments is because Facebook is actually showing you to more and more people with the more comments that you get. So if you're only getting shown to a couple of people and Facebook begins to see that you have a post that has tens and it begins to double, you get into it hundreds and people are starting to really comment. Facebook algorithm will show that, com show that content to more people. So if you want more content, a second call to action is to type something in the comments. Okay. So number one, if you agree with what I'm saying, give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Give me a happy face. Give me a smiley face. Give me, throw me some hearts. So that gets people actually throwing up hearts, throwing up thumbs up, and all that kind of good stuff. What's going on, man? You doing all right? How you doing, man? Blessed, man. What's up, man? <laughs> you know, looking out, checking out the dog. Y'all check out the dogs. <laughs> we getting to meet some folks around right here, man. Yeah. And so secondly, if you want more comments on your post, once again, you want Facebook to begin to show this to more people, what you want to do is actually tell people, comment below, right? So if you've got a specific thing that you want to do, uh, say, if you agree, type a one in the comments. If you disagree, type a two in the comments. You want to do something, tell them to type some kind of content. Hey, how you doing? You want to get them to say some type of uh, comment. Good to see you. Thank you. Yeah, she's in the house. She's the, I'll, you want me to get her? Okay. All right. Sorry about that, y'all. So if you if you want people to comment more, tell them to drop something in the comments that actually respond to the content that you're providing. Okay. So now you've got people giving thumbs up, 
All right. Now you've got people actually con commenting. So if you begin to get those two things, once again, Facebook will begin to show this to more and more people that you are connected to a third call to action. You want people to share your content. Is that right? If you've got valuable information that you're actually sharing with people, one thing you want people to do is share it out with more people, right? So if you got some valuable content, a call to action would be tell people to share it out. If you agree with this, if you like what I'm saying, you share it out. That's your third call to action. So your first call to action, you ask them to give you a thumbs up, give you some smiley face, give you some hearts or something. That begins to get you more likes on your videos. You tell them to comment below, comment a one or comment a two or comment something that you're talking about. If you're talking about lifting weights and you tell somebody, hey, let me know your thoughts. Drop a comment and let me know what you're thinking. Guess what? People begin to drop comments. And now you have your engagement up even more. Third, you say if you're if you're actually enjoying this content, if you agree, share this out. If you feel this is something other people that you're connected with need to hear, share this out. Now that's your third call to action. You actually get people to share. And I actually do this three times in the video. Before I start the video, as I get ready to go into my content, I tell them to share it. I get more people on the live. So if they have questions, I can answer it live. I do it about halfway through and I tell them if you're getting valuable information, go ahead and hit the share button. And then I do it at the end and tell them to share it again. So first call to action, you asking people to engage with the emojis. Actually engage with the emojis. Second one, you ask them to comment. Third, you tell them to share it out. Now, your fourth call to action is where a lot of people only focus. They give you all this information on what my product, what my service does, this, all the kind of stuff, and they tell you, go to this link, go to that link, check out this business, check out that business. Believe it or not, that is the the least, that there's the very least call to action that you have to worry about because if you're providing valuable content, people are going to want to know what it is that you do, what you promote, what product or service that you may have. So that's actually your least worried about call, call to action. All right. So, but your fourth and final call to action would be for them to be able to take action and lead them to a specific place that you would want them to go. So right now I would say, uh, my guy, Joseph Walker and I actually doing a boot camp. So let me, let me kind of give you an example of what this would look like. If I was doing a Facebook live, like I am right now, if I came upon this thing and I was making this very short and to the point and I was getting to this thing, I was like, hello, how you doing? What's going on? My name is Lyndon Britt from success with Lyndon.com. Check this out. I'm about to give you a solution to, and this is just an example. Uh, let me ask you a question. Do you have uh, that stubborn little, um, what do you call it, the, the uh, flat tire midsection that you can't get rid of, that lower back fat that you just don't know what to do with, and you, no matter what exercise you do, you can't get rid of that? I'm about to tell you exactly how to get rid of that. All right? So if you, if you believe that I'm about to share some, I'm about to share some information, you want to share this out, get more people on this live because I'm about to give you a solution to that problem that you never thought was possible. All right? So go into giving them a solution. Perhaps you can start doing this. You can start doing that. If you agree, give me some thumbs up. If you like what I'm talking about, if you agree with this, give me some thumbs up. As a matter of fact, comment below what kind of exercise you may be doing that's actually, that's been working for those of you all to be doing, that's been working or that's not working for you that you would like to improve. Perhaps I can, I'm going to give you a couple of more things you can do to be able to provide. All right. And if you're getting value from this, share this thing out. You want more and more people. I know I'm not the only person that had this problem, so share this thing out. All right? Go back in to provide more of a solution, and at the end of that solution, what am I going to do? I'm going to give them a call to action. I'm going to tell them, hey, if you want to find out how you can actually get better results with getting rid of that tire fat that's around your midsection that you just can't get rid of, that flat tire, uh, check out. If you want more comments, matter of fact, type in the comments right now. Give me the solution. Give me the solution. Type it in the comments, okay? And I'll make sure I get that information over to you. Or perhaps you got a link. If you want to be able to find out how you can get rid of that stubborn uh, midsection flat tire that, that's so difficult to get rid of, check out that link in the description right there, all right? You're, you're going to find one of the things that I've been using. I've been getting some great results from. I've actually gone, I've actually lowered my waist size probably like three or four inches, whatever it may be. And if you agree, check this thing out. If you got some value from the thing, share this thing out. You want more and more people. If you got friends, that are always saying they want to work out and start getting rid of this, get getting rid of that. Guess what? Now's the time to be able to uh, help them out, figure out how they can do it as well. So share this thing out with them. All right, so that would be uh, probably a quick call to action just for some, for example, I love help, uh, fitness and health and wellness, all the kind of good stuff. So it kind of came across like that. But you can do four call to actions in one video. A call to action is not only leading them to your product or service. 
It's a specific action that you want them to take within the time frame that you're on the video that you want to direct them. So like, ask them to uh, comment with like with the emojis. Ask them to uh, drop a comment so it actually builds up your comments and Facebook shows to more people. Tell you to share it out so more people can actually see your content that's on their timeline as well as Facebook still showing it to other folks. And then finally, your final call to action, which is lead them to your product, service, or wherever that you, whatever action that you want them to take. All right, so hope you got some value from this. This is actually one of the things that uh, Mr. Joseph Walker and I covered in our free boot camp that we got going on. Right now, we got a five-day free boot camp that we are launching. We are in day three. We, uh, we are teaching people how to begin to get results in their business. Day one, we covered attraction marketing. Day two, we called about, uh, we, uh, we covered how to discover your target market and who they are. And today, we covered we uh, we roll right into video marketing how effective it can be to actually improve the results in your business so if you want access to this free boot camp that we got going on type boot camp in the comments <laughs> or matter of fact you can shoot me a direct message i will make sure you get the information but today is the cutoff day tonight at midnight is the cutoff day where you could actually be able to hop into boot camp until we start the next one and when we start the next boot camp, we will not be covering the same exact topic. So you want to make sure that you hop in here tonight. All right, but y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Appreciate you hopping in here. This is Lyndon Britt from SuccessfulLyndon.com. Hashtag the accountability guy. And I look forward to seeing you all and provide some more value for you very soon. Make sure as you're doing your videos, you are implementing these four call to action to get better results in your videos. All right, talk to y'all later.